Good morning again YouTubers. Jim back with you. Just wanted to update you on a couple little mods that I've had to add to the boat. Uh, had an experience with my transducer and uh, had it mounted to my trolling motor and uh, do a lot of up and down work with the trolling motor because of the weeds and I ended up breaking my transducer cable. <laughs> so I was night fishing and really didn't see what I was doing and uh, ended up breaking my transducer cable so I had to modify that a little bit and I'll kind of walk you through what I did. Uh, as you can see the trolling motor is where I had it mounted and it just really didn't work that great so what I did was I got a, a Scotty's 141 kayak transducer mount and just mounted it on the front of the boat here right on the edge of the platform and uh, works out really well all you have to do is swivel it and then bring it down and you've got a transducer in the water all the wiring is run underneath the deck so you don't trip over anything and uh, I'm going to be putting a GoPro camera mount right down there on a pole so it's kind of this is going to kind of double as a transducer mount and a GoPro camera mount and I'll be doing some GoPro videos uh, as soon as I get all that set up and uh, look forward to showing you guys that when I'm done with it I just put it there or or it can go all the way all the way over there if you'd like but I just kind of I like to put it right there sorry for the boat being in a little bit of uh, dirty condition I just got back from fishing this morning and uh, haven't had a chance to clean it yet but I wanted to show you guys this I also added uh, a scent dunker. I mean, it's not much of a mod, but it's just one of the things that uh, that I find very handy. Uh, we do a lot of uh, soft plastic fishing in Florida, and uh, you know, the, the, if you if you do a lot of ca uh, flipping and stuff, the worms in the soft plastics tend to dry out a little bit. So. Uh, what we do is scent dunker. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this. I've had this for years. You just put your favorite scented uh, oils or whatever it is uh, that you can buy at Walmart or any place in there. You just spray it in there or dunk it in there. And when you get ready to dunk your your lure, you just step on this, put the lure in, shut it, open it up again, pull it out, and you're ready to go again. You don't have to touch anything. Works out pretty good. I've had this thing for years. I got it when I was fishing tournaments down here. And uh, probably one of the most important uh, items I've got in my tackle box. But uh, works out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to be putting another mount on the back of the boat. I'm probably going to be putting it right about here somewhere. Maybe right in here. I don't know. Maybe on the other side uh, for another GoPro mount probably end up using uh, either the 140 or the same 141 mount with the slide uh, for that. Uh, that'll be coming fairly soon. I don't know. But uh, a lot of you guys have asked me to keep you updated on what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, in Florida, this is pretty much the setup as far as baits are concerned that are the go-to baits. You got a rattle trap, there's a great fish finding bait, some kind of a spinner bait, this happens to be a snagless sally, and a small finesse worm. And on the other side, some kind of a tube jig, a soft plastic jerk bait, and the same thing with my noodle socking pole. I do the same thing. That's, that's pretty much the, the kinds of fishing that I do especially on this lake that I live on. Uh, give you a little quick tour of it. Here's my boat ramp. Walk right down to the lake. It's a 64 acre natural lake in central Florida. It's kind of a, a long narrow lake. But you can see the vegetation 
which is why my trailer is so filthy. There's a lot of vegetation in the lake. Used to be a lot more until they defoliated a lot of it. But the, got docks all around it. It's lily pads and uh, submergent grasses. The average depth is about, oh, five feet. But there are holes out here that are, are 20, 25 foot deep. So there's a lot of bass in here. Not much fishing pressure here. There are a couple of people fish it, but not many. Uh, mostly you've got jet skis and ski boats that I have to contend with. So it's kind of hit and miss doing any, uh, any quiet fishing. I usually have to get up very early in the morning or fish at night. Uh, that if you don't see jet skis or hear jet skis going around the lake, it's a miracle. But uh, that's kind of where you could be seeing all of my videos come from. So, uh, once again, I thank you guys for watching. Any comments you want to post, I'll be fine. Uh, see you guys on the other side. Thank you.